I could tell you right now, but I just can't. Is Mike there with you? Oh, no, no, Bill. He, he went out about a, an hour ago. I, I practically threw him out because we're getting so anxious waiting for your call. I see. Well, there was not too much that we could learn last night. But I think today will be different, Nancy. As a matter of fact, Luke and I are waiting for Steve Guthrie to show up right now. What about Raymond Harper, though? He's in custody here, Nancy. He's being held as a material witness. I doubt if we'll be able to hold him very long. You'll probably have a lawyer down here with a writ of habeas corpus. Hold on a moment. Nancy, Steve Guthrie just came in. I'll have to go. No, all right, I understand, Bill. I'll call you back as soon as anything develops. Bye-bye. Well, did you get her? Of course I did. I knew it. Boy, you guys are really something, aren't you? You just can't leave me alone. You have to keep on pestering me and pestering me. Relax, Miss Johnson, and sit down, Will. Now, as part of regular police procedure, I have to inform you that we're going to make a tape recording of everything that you say here. Now, Miss Johnson, we need your help. You had my help. I gave you plenty of help. What more can a girl do? What was the girl doing when you picked her up? Business as usual. She mm -hmm. put up uh, quite an argument, so I had to bring her in on a vice charge. Does that mean I'm under arrest? We don't want to put you in jail, Miss Johnson. But we do need your help more now than ever before. Not about the Richardson murder again. Miss Johnson, we hope we don't have to question you about this case again. Well, how many questions can you ask me? I gave you all the answers that I have. Uh, there's one question we didn't ask you because we hadn't had the information until now. Oh, it's about that other man, isn't it? That man who looks like Mike Carr? We believe that he's the man you saw at the Ace of Clubs that night and not Mike Carr. As a matter of fact, Ray Hopper has admitted that he was there. Admitted that he found Richardson's body. Even admitted the possibility that he is the one that you probably saw. Well, for Pete's sakes, why don't they just let Mike Carr go then? Or is that why he isn't in jail? My car is not in jail because he was given a suspended sentence. He was convicted of murder, a murder he didn't commit. Chief, I hadn't told her anything about the theory. All right. I'll tell her what she has to know. Now, Miss Johnson, there is a possibility, a very strong possibility, that two people fired the shots that killed Bo Richardson that night. Two people? That's right. That's what we believe and you can prove us wrong. And I want you to prove us wrong if you can. I don't understand. Now, Miss Johnson, I want you to think back very carefully to that night again, as you've done for us many times before. But this time, I want you to concentrate on one specific thing. Well, what is it? All right. You stated to us that you were in the powder room and that you heard the sound of a gunshot. Were you absolutely sure? Of course I was sure. I saw the man with the gun. You didn't see anybody when you heard that first shot. Inez, have you ever heard a gun shot before? No, I guess I haven't, but I, I have been to the movies. All right. You heard a loud sound, an explosive noise coming from that office. Did you think that it was a gun shot at the time? Well, no, I guess I didn't. I thought... Maybe he dropped something, a bottle or something. He was drinking. Okay. Go on. What'd you do next? Well, I went to the door. Immediately? Well, no, not immediately. First, I put on my eyelash. First, you did what? I had to put my eyelash on. I couldn't leave there with just one eyelash, could I? I mean, that would have looked kind of funny. You mean that's what you were doing when you heard the noise, putting on false eyelashes? Yeah. They don't look false, do they? Miss Johnson, so what you're telling us is that you waited a long time before you went to that door to hear the second shot. Well, couldn't have been more than 30 seconds, a minute the most. 30 seconds or a minute is a long time between shots for someone who was determined to commit a murder. And how many shots did you hear then? Two, three, I don't know. I already told you that. Well, it had to be two shots, Inez, because there was only three shots fired from the gun. All right, two. And then I saw the man backing out of the office with the gun in his hand. What difference does it make? He was dead, wasn't he? That's right. 
That's right. He was dead, Miss Johnson. And now we know exactly how it happened. Luke, invite Ray Harper to our little party. She didn't have better aim. Damn you, man! Can't you see I'm hurt? She tried to kill me. Yeah, she probably thinks she did. And we can't disappoint the young lady, can we? Hey! 